that time again. Time for some exciting Formula One action. Who will emerge victorious in the Battle of Baku? Well, we're just about ready to get underway. Welcome to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Baku City Circuit then. It's an unpredictable 3.7 mile track around the streets of the Azerbaijan capital. 20 turns for our drivers to navigate today, including the infamous Turn 8, one of the tightest and most challenging corners of the season. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. What a qualifying yesterday for George Russell. He'll start today's race from pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Stroll, Hamilton, Gasly, Albon, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Sargent, Ocon, Bottas, Sonoda, Joe, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. Now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Right then, the formation lab gets underway here on the streets of Baku. I suspect the drivers today will be very mindful of that narrow uphill section of the Old Town Wall. It requires pinpoint accuracy, and perhaps more crucially, courage. So as all the cars reform the grids, the drivers will be hoping to get a strong start. They'll want to earn some valuable points from today's race, with final communications being done with their race engineers, ensuring the planned strategies are all in place. One of the longest broadcasted races, also one of the shortest. 2021 Belgian Grand Prix last year. Okay, the safety car is out. Safety car is out. We need to form up at reduced pace. Keep a close eye on that delta time. Make sure to keep it positive. The safety car's out. We need you to reduce your pace. It looks like there's a high amount of debris on the track. Be careful. Pitting this lap then. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Okay, listen, don't worry about it, mate. It can happen to the best of us. Now look, I've put a new strategy option for you in the MFD, so go and have a look. Confirmed.
Okay, go, go, go. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. racing again the safety car is in this lap when the field accelerates remember there's no overtaking until the timing line safety car in this lap Turn the position immediately or we're going to get penalised. There's no overtaking during the safety car period. just boxed for mediums. Car behind on the medium tyre now.
Engine on Ricciardo, they seem to have an issue. DRS is now enabled. But be aware, these tyres need to get us to the end of this race. One more stop. They've got some kind of mechanical problem. The last lap time was a 150.9. Okay, Magnussen ahead. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 1.8 seconds. Okay, they're on old stop. Their tyres are six laps old. We think they've got one more stop. For the time last lap was a 1 minute 50.5. And you're closing by four tenths a lap. Keep it going.
Carlos is in for his stop now. Caution, caution. Green flag. Two ahead. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, 2.1 seconds. They're on old medium. Okay, their tyres are seven laps old. We think they've got one more stop. Time last lap was a 150.9. Okay, you're dropping back by around two tenths each lap. Safety car, safety car. No overtaking, reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta's negative, which means you're going too fast. Reduce your pace.
just five laps of fuel remaining. Safety car in this lap, safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature and remember there's no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. worry about the tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. OK, clear. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left.
enabled DRS. DRS is now online. You have critical damage to the floor. Be careful. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. It's never an easy race here in Azerbaijan. There's drama around every corner, but they've come through to take a brilliant victory here today. Tell me, Ant. How do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think we'll chalk this one up to a deft touch on the brake pedal. That's allowed them to challenge down the inside into the braking zones, and ultimately, if you do that often enough, you end up winning the race. It was great to watch as well though, wasn't it? Forget strategy, forget tyre management. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned scrap? And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari.